Is ego inherently good or a necessary evil? According to Freud, ego is the intermediary between one's self-image and how we believe others perceive us. In contrast, Blue Log defines ego as envisioning and enacting the most superior version of oneself. While it's not Freud's definition of ego, it is presented as the core driver for character development throughout the series. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button and decimate the subscribe button. We're trying to grow, so any little bit helps. Now, let's get into it. This is best seen through our protagonist, Isagi, who is humbled when receiving the fattest L by being a team player at regionals. What plagues Isagi is the divide between suppressing his ego and seeing himself as a secondary player, instead of as a capable striker who can deliver the final point to win the match. Regardless, he chose to pass the final game point to another player to score. The divide in his mind is worsened when that player misses and loses the match for the team. He begins questioning himself and wonders whether or not it was right to pass the ball when everyone asked him to, or if he should have been selfish and scored the final goal. What torments him the most is knowing that he was fully capable of scoring had he kept the ball. That is why Blue Lock Academy is the epitome of what Isagi lacks at the beginning of his journey. To reign supreme in this battle royale, each player must clash with the other player's ego and learn to adapt and evolve their own skills past their limits. Ego Jean Bachi, the headmaster of the academy, what a name, notes the following in his speech. Instead of assisting my teammates to win one to zero, it feels better to pull up a hat trick and lose three to four. This direct quote from Noel Noah, who beat out Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo to win the Ballon d'Or, tells us how highly the world's best striker values your precious teamwork. Even the world-class players rely on their animal instincts to outperform others. Ego's speech shocks the crowd of players who have been instilled in them the collectivistic mentality that only as a team can they win. The rest of the world, however, shares an individualistic mindset that pushes individual players to new heights. This creates room for each person on the team to attempt to cannibalize or outperform the top player and each other, leaving in the aftermath the ultimate version of themselves. Although partially true, teams would collapse if this was the reigning ideology in RL professional soccer. This is not to say that there aren't certain players with larger-than-life personas who see themselves as the creme de la creme, who have gotten into internal discourse with an entire team because they believe they've earned more opportunities than others. But in Blue Lock's worldview, to survive and to thrive is to embrace humans' carnal desire to destroy their opponents. For example, Chikuri, a prodigy in his early years, experiences a gruesome defeat that strips away his identity as the fastest player. The trauma he experiences redefined his identity of self and reprogrammed his actions to be more cautious and hesitant, and therefore his behavior was that of a low-tier player. It isn't until he's faced with a player like Isagi, someone who continuously redefines his own identity and his beliefs in his own capabilities, that Chikiri realizes that he is capable of achieving far more than the constraints of his mental and physical trauma. Even if it means losing his leg, Chikiri is set on placing his future on the line if it means a chance at reaching his full potential. If that's not ego, I'm not sure what is. Chikiri's character growth demonstrates that never try, never fail isn't enough. It was only when he believed in his own capabilities, dreams, and desires did he push past his self-imposed mental limitations. His life had no purpose if it meant living a life of mediocrity, scared to play the game he loved for fear of never playing again. A character that undergoes a similar arc as Chikiri is Leo. Leo's identity relies on the fact that while he and Nagi are on the same team, they're unstoppable. Leo's codependent personality is his Achilles heel. When Nagi joins Isagi's team, Leo is in shambles. His worldview is shattered as he is no longer playing with what he believes is the best player. And if he isn't, there's no chance of going up the ranks. Leo has to experience the loss of what he believes made him great, albeit while harboring hatred towards Isagi and devoting his time in Blue Lock to winning back Nagi in order to understand that he was capable all along. And there's such a cold line between Leo and Nagi's dialogue where Nagi says, become the one who chooses, not the one waiting to be chosen. And it almost felt like a couple arguing, but it was so good, one person telling the other, I'm gonna grow with or without you. You either grow with me or this is where our journey ends. It was too cold, almost heart-wrenching, but it was exactly what Leo needed to hear to motivate him to surpass his codependent complexion and become his own person. Finally, we inspect Isagi's journey. 
One where a soccer player who has self-doubt in their capabilities learns to reinvent themselves to adapt to the requirements of a match and their opponent's strategies. Isagi is a chameleon who pieces together patterns that aid him in his victory. But it's more than his high intellectual coefficient. It's his capability to understand that to be the best, he must learn to kill his old self, who is not strong enough, and create a version of himself that can overcome the obstacles he faces. Take Baru, for example. Isagi devours him and leaves no crumbs. Baru, unwilling to work as a team, must be forced into submission if Isagi is to win the match. Taking advantage of this top player's need to be in the spotlight, Isagi speeds through everyone's blind spots, predicting where the opposing team's attention would be held. Scoring the goal for himself, Isagi is unwilling to compromise his ego or his drive. He doesn't try to change his teammate's mind and cooperate. He changes himself. And that's Blue Lock, an anime that tackles ego and the identity of self by crafting characters that face insurmountable challenges that require each to destroy the version of themselves that lack self-confidence in their capabilities. With their egos and self-identity challenged, they push their physical bodies to evolve and adapt so that they can create their own success with no limitations. A powerful lesson of having faith in who we are, in our experience, and to live day by day as the version that can surpass our daily struggles. And that's why I enjoy this series so much.